Suppose P of T represents the population of a certain mosquito colony where T is measured in days. The current population of the colony is known to be 585 mosquitoes, that is P of zero equals 585. If P prime of zero equals 92 mosquitoes per day, estimate the size of the population in seven days. Recall that P prime of zero is equal to the slope of the tangent line at T equals zero, which also represents the instantaneous rate of change of the mosquitoes at time T equals zero. We can use this information to determine the equation of the tangent line at T equals zero, and then use the tangent line to approximate the mosquito population in seven days. The idea behind the tangent line is a tangent line is a decent approximation for a function as long as we're near the point of tangency. Looking at the graph on the right, we have a function in black and a tangent line in red. Notice near the point of tangency, the tangent line is a good approximation for the function values for f of x. So going back to our problem, because p of zero equals 585, we know the point of tangency is the point zero comma 585. And then because p prime of zero equals 92, we know the slope of the tangent line at t equals zero. Again, is p prime of zero, which is 92. Well, given the slope and a point, we can find the equation of a line a couple ways. We could use slope intercept form because zero comma 585 is the vertical or y intercept. So let's first do that. If we use y equals mx plus b, we know m is 92 and b is 585, giving us the equation y equals 92t, because we're using t instead of x, plus 585. But I also wanna show how to find this equation using point slope form, which is shown above, so that we can relate this to how we normally see the equation for a tangent line approximation in a calculus textbook. So again, if we use y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1, we would have y minus 585 equals 92 for m, and then times z of x, we use t minus zero. And notice we solve for y, we get the same result of y equals 92t plus 585. And when using a tangent line to make an approximation, we often replace y with function notation, in this case, L of t. So we'll say L of t is equal to 92t plus 585. And before we actually answer the question, let's look at the notation shown here above in the box. Again, at the top we have point slope form. On the right, we've solved for y by adding y1 to both sides. And now if we take a look at a textbook and look at the tangent line approximation formula, it often looks like what we see here below, where the point of tangency is a comma f of a, and the slope of the tangent line is f prime of a. Using this notation, notice y is just l of x, y1 is just f of a, m is replaced with f prime of a, the slope of the tangent line, and instead of x minus x1, we have x minus a. And if we solve this for l of x, we add f of a to both sides, and this form here shown on the right looks a lot different, but it is simply just point slope form solve for L of x, just like we see this form here above solve for y. So finally to answer the question, to estimate the size of the population in seven days, we determine L of seven. L of seven is equal to 92 times seven plus 585, which is equal to 1,229 mosquitoes. I hope you found this helpful.